Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. We are discussing the IUPAC system for naming coordination compounds and we have uh, attempted to learn the naming of uh, coordination compounds and there are some other uh, basic uh, things which are uh, more required for the naming of the coordination compounds. Naming of coordination compounds. Naming of the coordination compounds. The very significant while naming the transition metal complexes is the oxidation state of central metal atom. Central metal atom. Now, there are different types of complexes. The complexes may be neutral, neutral complexes. For example, NiCO4. This is non-electrolyte due to no presence of, due to no ions. This may ions nahi hote. Sometimes the cation is a complex ion. For example, K4. CuNO, CuNH3, 4, SO4, SO4. This is minus, this is plus. So this is a complex uh, ion. Sometime, number 3, A9 is the complex ion. A9 is the complex ion. For example, K4, Fe, Cn6, this is plus 1. This is minus 4. So here it is a A9, which is negative. A complex containing both cation and cationic and anionic complex ions. For example, CONH3, 6, Cr, C2, O4, thrice. Now first the cation and then the A9. So this may be positive and this may be negative. Now in general, for example in K3, FeCn6, this is active metal, this is central metal atom and this one ligands. Whereas in this case, CuNH3, 4, SO4, this is negative 2, this is positive 2. Now here central metal atom ligands and this one counter ion. So this is the composition of the complex. Now how we can find the oxidation state of the central metal? Now these can be represented NiCO4. This is neutral. So the oxidation state can be found Suppose it is x plus 4 into 0 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 0. This is x. Now in this case, you can represent these. Cu, NH3, 4, SO4, 2 minus. So here it is plus, plus 2. Now in this case, 4K plus Fe, Cn, 6. So here it is 4 minus. And in this case, CO, NH3, 6, Cr, C2, O4, thrice. So if it is minus, it is plus. So we can find the oxidation state as well. Now here, suppose it is X. So it is X plus 4 into 0 is equal to 0. So X is equal to 0. Now in this case, it is suppose X. So it is X plus 4 into 0 minus 2 is equal to 0. So x is equal to plus 2. s is equal to plus 2. So here it will be 2 plus. Similarly in this case, this is x plus minus 1 into 6 is equal to 4 minus and x is equal to plus 2. So here it is plus 2. Similarly in this case, if it is x, so this is a 3 minus, this is 3 plus, so 
x plus 6 into 0 is equal to plus 3. So x is equal to plus 3. So it is plus 3. Here it is y, y plus 3 into minus 2 is equal to minus 3. So y is minus 6 is equal to minus 3. So y is equal to plus 3. So here it will be plus 3. So this is how we can find out the oxidation state in different uh, complexes. So oxidation can state can be found especially of the central metal atom by this way. Another suppose you have a complex Pt NH3 4 Cl2 Pt Cl4. Now this should be positive and this should be negative. This is suppose x and this is y. Now here it is minus 1 into 2, this is 0 into 4. So this will be plus 2. So here it is uh, x plus 4 into 0 minus 1 into 2 is equal to 0. Now x is equal to, so x will be plus 2. In this case, plus 2 plus 4 into minus 1 is equal to y, then plus 2 minus 4 is equal to y, and y is equal to minus 2. So here it will be minus. Uh, so we can find uh, the oxidation state of the different complexes, whether they are neutral, whether cationic, whether anionic, or they are the mix uh, uh, complexes containing cation and positive ion and anion negative ion complex. Now another uh, very important uh, factor that how we can find out the coordination number, coordination number in the complexes. Now in general the coordination number that is coordination number is equal to the number of ligands and density city. Now <coughs> each uh, central metal atom is surrounded by a number of ligands. If the ligands are monodentate, if the ligands attached are monodentate, if the ligands are monodentate means possess one donor atom, that is one electron pair donor. Then how many ligands are attached? That will be the coordination number, for example, in Cr6, water 6, hexa, aqua, chromium 3, the coordination number is equal to 6. Similarly, Na3F, Na3CO, F6, again the coordination number is equal to 6. For example, in cobalt, NH3, 4, SO4 the coordination number is equal to 4. So all these uh, uh, ligands, water, and uh, these are water, fluorine, and ammonium are all monodentate that can donate one electron pair. So these uh, are in the position to donate one pair of electron. So they are simply known as monodentate. So in case uh, the ligands uh, are monodentate, then how many ligands are attached? That will be the coordination number. But in case uh, if, the, if the ligands are polydentate, polydentate means that possess more electron pair donor atoms, bidentate, uh, tridentate, uh, tetradentate, uh, then the coordination number will depend upon the denticity that how many atoms are there which can donate electron pair within the same ligand. For example, in CO, EN, thrice, CL3. Now, the coordination number is not 3. Agar hum in ligands ko dekhe, to phir to isko, iska jo coordination number hai, wo 3 hona chahiye. Lekin ethylene jo diamine hai, this is bidentate. Two nitrogen atoms donate two electron pairs. So a density 
density is equal to 2. Now, the number of ligands are 3 and the y dentate, so this will be 6. So, its coordination number, coordination number will be 2 into 3, that is 6. So, in this way we can find out the coordination number, that what will be the coordination number, that what are the basically number of uh, ligands which are surrounding the central metal atom by donating their electron pair to form the coordinate covalent bond. So, it, this depends upon the number of ligands. If the ligands are monodentate, then simply how many ligands are surrounding like in this case. Now, in this case it is 6, here it is 6, it is 4. So, simply these will be their coordination number. But in case of other complexes where the polydentate ligands are attached, that they, that they can donate the 2 or 3 or 4 or other, so the coordination number will be changed. Similarly, for example, in CrC2O4 thrice Cl3 or you can say in this, for example, in this 3. Now, this uh, C2O4 2 minus oxalato, it is bidentate, it is bidentate, so coordination number is equal to the number of ligands that is 3 into density that is 2, so it will be 6. So 3 ligands, density 2, so its coordination number will be 6. Similarly, similarly in case of uh, nickel E D T A 2 plus. So, this is E D T A 1. So, its coordination number is not 1. But here, since E D T A, E D T A is hexadentate. Ye hexadentate ligand hai. Lihaza jo iska coordination number hoga, wo hoga number of ligands into density city. So, number of ligand is 1, density is 6. So, its coordination number will be 6. So, number of ligand 1, density city 6. So, its coordination number will be 6. So, in, in, in these cases, when the ligands are polydentate, then the number of electron pairs will be different. If that is bidentate, so that ligand can donate two electron pairs. If it is tridentate, then it will donate three electron pairs. And like this, in case of EDTA, that is ethylene diamine tetraacetate. It is, uh, in fact, hexadentate. So its coordination number will be six. Now, similarly, the ligands normally type of ligand, name of ligand, old name, old name of ligand, new name of ligand. So, if uh, the ligand is uh, H negative, the old name was hydro and the new name is hydrido. Hy dry do cl chloro chlorido br bromo bromido f fluoro fluorido then water aqua aqua en ethylene diamine ethane 1 2 diamine so, these are the new names, hydrido, chlorido, bromido, fluorido, aqua, ethylene, diamine. So, these are the some changes which have been taken in 2004 by the IUPAC committee to change some name of the ligands attached. Similarly, CN negative cyanido. Cyano, this will be cyanide. These are some other 
new names which are used so this was all about the some other uh, very important uh, factors while calculating the oxidation state of the central metal that we can find out the central uh, oxidation state of central metal whether it is plus 2 or it is it is positive or it is negative then the coordination number which is simply the number of ligands attached or surrounding the central metal atom or central metal line in a certain coordination compound but the to find out the coordination number uh, there are two ways if the ligands are monodentate that they are in position to find they are in position to find uh, if they are monodentate so they can rotate only one electron pair so that much will be the coordination number if there are four ligand attached and they are monodentate so simply the the coordination number will be four if there are six ligands and all ligands whether similar or dissimilar uh, they are monodentate then their coordination number will be six but the case is very different when the ligands attached are polydentate if they are in position to donate more than one electron pair then the polydentate ligands may possess two or more than two so they can donate two electron pairs they can donate three electron pairs so we will use the formula that is that is the coordination number is the number of ligands which are attached are surrounding the central metal into density density means how many donor atoms are present within the ligand which are which are in position to donate the number of electron pairs so if if the ligand attached is bidentate then the total number of ligands if they are three and they are in position to donate two electron pairs so you will multiply 3 by 2 for example in this case tris ethylene diamine cobalt 3 chloride the uh, number of ligands are 3 uh, this this may be 3 into 2 3 ligands and 2 uh, are the donor atoms density 2 similarly in this case there are 3 ligands so this is uh, sodium this is active metal this is sodium tris oxalato chromium 3 now in this case the number of ligands are 3 but oxalato is uh, bidentate that it contains two donor atom so it can donate two electron pairs so then you will multiply this 3 by 2 then it will be 6 so its coordination number will be 6 similarly uh, if edta is the ligand is present now that is only one ligand so its coordination number will not be one but edta in fact ethylene diamine tetraacetate that can donate six electron pairs so its coordination number will be six that one multiplied by six six mean the ligand is in position to donate six electron pair kyunki ye che electron pair donate kar sakta hai to lihaza total jo ligand attached hai अगर तुम मोनोडेंटेट हैं तो फिर तो आप सिंपली उसका कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर वही आएगा टू है फोर है सिक्स है तो फिर सिंपली आप वही लिखेंगे लेकिन अगर उसमें जैसे एथलिन डाइमीन में एक ही लिगेंड है लेकिन ये छः के छः जो ई है ये हेक्सडेंटेट है सो सिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉन पेयर ये डोनेट करता है और इसमें सिक्स डोनर एटम होते हैं लिहाजा ये उसको हम वन को सिक्स से मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे एंड दैट विल द कोऑर्डिनेशन नंबर विल बी सिक्स सो टिल देन अल्लाह हाफिज़ असलकुम